Live on Stream It Sports, Northern Colorado, it's Windsor High School Basketball. This broadcast is brought to you by Schrader Oil. Fuel your day. By Peterson Toyota in Fort Collins. Everything cars made easy. And by First Bank. Visit any of our convenient locations in Northern Colorado. First Bank, banking for good. Now for the play-by-play, here's Eric Freehoff and Cody McCoy. Welcome to Windsor High School Athletics. Tonight, live on Stream It Sports from Windsor High School in beautiful Windsor, Colorado, the Windsor Wizards host the visiting team, Frederick Warriors, in Colorado high school basketball action. Hello, my name is Eric Freoff, along with my partner, Cody McCoy, and on camera, we have Abby Block bringing you live 4A Tri-Valley Conference first conference game for both of these teams tonight up here in Windsor, Colorado. Welcome fans as you come in and get to see this live broadcast on Stream of Sports. We have a conference opener for both teams. Overall, Windsor is leading the series between these two teams 20 to nothing in the series of playing between Windsor and Frederick. In fact, a year ago, uh, they beat them 72 to 32 on their home court in the 16-17 season, but it is a different season this year. We're going to talk a little bit about the accolades of what what Windsor did during the season in the Class 4A to get to the Final Four, but also we're going to talk about how Frederick, who had such a tough season last year at 6 and 17, has a new motto out here, which is make them believe, and they're going to come out here and see if they can dazzle their traveling. Uh, fans out here to the Windsor High School area as well as the Windsor group is going to try to see if they can get themselves back on track. Well, it's going to take some time uh, to get this game going here. We're going through the uh, starting lineups. The Wizards coming into this game. They're sporting their white with their striped maroon and gold are five and three on the season right now. They're two and two at home, zero, zero away. So they have not played a true away game. And they're three and one in a neutral environment, playing a couple of their preseason tournaments, both in the Vista Peak Bison Bash, as well as the Power to Play Winter Showcase. And in both of those tournaments, one, the Vista B Peak Bison Bash, uh, they were able to beat Fort Morgan. Then they lost to Thomas Jefferson, but then they were able to beat Cheyenne Mountain for a third place win in that tournament, as well as Windsor played in the Power to Play Winter Showcase where they led through to the championship but lost by two to Fossil Ridge over in Fort Collins, Colorado. So that comes in with a five and three record and they have about a 63% winning average. Now let's take a look at Frederick. Frederick is six and two. They're one and oh on the home court. They're three and two away and understand that three and two meaning that they are a good road team. They're making people believe uh, coming into Windsor, not have won against Windsor in their entire history. are going to try to see if they can upset the apple cart tonight. And then there's the neutral court. They've been 2-0 and on that with a 75% win rate this year. Coaching Windsor High School tonight is Jim Porth. It's his third season. He's 46-14 and overall, 77% victory record. He had a very powerful team last year, 16-17. We'll talk about that a little bit later on in the broadcast. And he'll be going up against Coach Brett Anderson his second season. He's 12-19 and 19 overall, but realize he's 6-2 and two this year. He had a tough year last year at 6-17. and 17. He had seven sophomores, two juniors, and zero seniors last year. They're all coming back. They're all coming back, and they're going to try to make them believe. And they're making them believe on the tap because now Frederick's going to have the first attempt. Good man-to-man -man defense. Offensive rebound. Windsor's going to have to be taking a look at those boards and protecting them down the road. Frederick's going to be patient with the ball. Great help side thus far by the Windsor defense. Yep. Defensive fundamentals, pressure, deny, sag. Nice block inside. Fast break down at the other end, and who do we look at? Holly Hoffman, that's a name we're going to be saying a lot tonight. Great pass there on the fast break, led her right to the hoop. We're going to take one step, one dribble. Nice little layup. Ball out of bounds on Windsor. Frederick ball. 
Looks like a little turnover there. Uh, was almost a turnover. Uh, but I think it went off the leg. Quick shot up by number 20. Shea Chavez. Shea Chavez is coming off of a, a big victory over at Mountain View where they won 65 to 63. The junior had 25 points against a Mountain View. But that is not the top scorer for Frederick. Stepping up to the line, number two. That's two offensive rebounds in the first minute here. Yep. Uh, Adelina DeSantis. We talked a little bit about control of the boards. Uh, if you took a look at how um, Frederick is owning their games, they have a five-game win streak. Nice impact, almost in there. Missed. Foul. Foul on Holly. Holly Hoffman, number 10. Uh, last game out against Pueblo South, a game against a team that they lost to in the Final Four last year in the 4A tournament. Holly had 26 points. That wasn't her high for this year. But 26 points is definitely something that helped them get that 61-60 victory over Pueblo South. Looks like a tip out of bounds. Windsor coming with a full court press. Miley Tronowski tossing it in there. Looking like there's a full court press, a 3-1-1. Goes back into a diamond and looking for some traps upside. As it comes across, they get the trap out of the corner. Can they get it in? No. Aspen to four. Aspen to four, the senior forward takes it to the hole. You're going to hear two to fours out here. Shea Chavez gets the steal. And that was the second to four that you're going to see there as well, too. <clears throat> two to fours on the team. Tori to four, number 21. She's a junior guard. And her cousin, who is a senior, Aspen DeFore, who made the last basket, basket for Frederick, are both on the court. They're the two top scorers for Frederick, and this is where Windsor's going to have to shut them down. Deep inside, Holly looking good. Has a nice runner. Both teams trying to press here early, cause some turnovers. And they both have caused turnovers. Nice turnover there. Deep and underneath by number five, Ali Kennis. Nice pass by Cheney Kingsburg. Kingsbury. Holly, a uh, junior guard, I mean, was it, Allie Kennis, excuse me, a junior forward, number five. She also plays volleyball. I think I saw her earlier this year playing volleyball for Windsor. Quick hands by Holly. Goes back up, misses an easy one, but put back in by number 21, Michaela Moran, the senior guard. This pressure up front has given Windsor the opportunities to get up ahead in the lead, leading eight to three with five minutes, 30 seconds left in this first quarter. This handle, turnover. Some good defensive adjustment there. Adelina DeSantis turns it over, but I'm gonna to have to give that to Michaela Moran, who was creating that pressure in the back. Frederick putting the full court pressure on as well too. Kicks it outside, likes to look, but no, who comes in and gets fouled? That foul was on Asman DeFore. Strong coming in, Kendall Gustafsson, the junior guard, comes in. Maddie Denzel misses it. I think it was Maddie that actually got that previous rebound, but that time Chinny Kingsbury, Kingsbury puts it back in, gives them a 10 to three lead with five minutes left in this first quarter. Windsor back with the pressure. Man to man defense. Yep, that was a solid screen. Pair of fives ran into each other and I think the Frederick team wins on the fouls. That was Aspen DeFore setting up a high screen up top for Frederick. The Allie Kennis runs through her. May have lowered her shoulder a little bit. A little bit. It was kind of a, almost a delayed fall. Again, they are doing a high screen, and Aspen just getting pounded around there. Holly brings it down. Foul on the ground. 
by Aspen to four. That puts it out on the inbounds. Cheney looked like she was going to go up, and Kingsbury had a, a chance, but gets fouled while they were on the ground. That's a couple fouls on Aspen. I'm going to say that's at least two. Nice ball handling. Michaela. Long distance three, could not get it. Ripped down by Adelina. Almost could save that, but couldn't. Her hand, feet were on the baseline. Number 23, Denzel, the senior. Seeing if she could save it, gives it to Frederick. 10 minutes, 10 to three, excuse me. Four minutes, 15 seconds left in this first quarter. Like a little delayed setup by Frederick for an outside shot, couldn't get it. Great defensive fundamentals, poked away by Holly. What you didn't hear at the beginning of this game was is that uh, Windsor is averaging 54 points per game for the season, and they're only giving up 47 points per game per season for this season. Outside shot missed by Frederick. Too long of a lead. Turnover. Turnovers have been haunting both teams thus far here in the first quarter. Turnover on the other end. The power we have. Yes. <laughs> Quick reversal. Looked like it was a three. On the line. Calling it a two. It's a two by Kingsbury, the senior. Full court press. Still see 12 to three. Driving in deep, but gets swatted away by Denzel, number 23. Says nothing like that inside the lane. <laughs> Taylor Kramer, number 34, the seniors checks in for the Windsor Wizards. Nice free throw level shot by number 20, Shea Chavez. Shea Chavez steps back in and gets the steal. Puts two more in, gets them on a run. Great jump on the turnover. She threw the ball, you know, just a little rainbow, gave her a nice jump on it, nice finish. Nice little run here by Frederick. Shot short. Frederick's on the run, makes it back up to 12 to seven, a four point run. Has the ball in possession. DeFore, Torrey, from three, short, but the pressure by number 12, Mathern, Carly Mathern, the junior. Haley coming in, Haley Hurtado coming in for Miley Ternowski on Frederick. Full court pressure again. Oh, gets it past that initial. Second shot, wasn't able to get that down. 12's got it. That's Carly Mathern. Unfortunately, after a lot of the bumping and a lot of the grabbing, three seconds is called against her. Two minutes, 23 seconds left in this first quarter. Kayla Moran just does it all herself down to the other end, cannot get it. Almost a pickpocket came through there, but Kramer, number 34, is able to get it back up and a steal again. <coughs> and the foul. Mathern from Windsor going to the line. She drove deep in. That foul was on Adeline DeSantis. Windsor doing a good job of just beating the Warriors down the floor on multiple possessions. You know, that's one thing about Windsor is they pride themselves with the aggressiveness of getting down the court and making the defense have to get through transition and pick up the right player. And in situations like that, typically you're going to be fouling or you're not going to know where the next person is that's open. You have to get those easy buckets. <laughs> now Windsor's falling back here. About a half court press. 15 to seven, minute 54 seconds turnover by Frederick. <clears throat> this 
been the story of the first quarter here. Yeah, it has been a couple turnovers there. Holly, this is the key player for Windsor. See if she can get herself going here at the late in this first quarter. Almost a zone, two, three zone, deep inside, blocked by number 20, Shea Chavez. That was Taylor Kramer going up, but couldn't get it. Foul on Holly. Boy, that's her second one. Holly Hoffman, second foul. Kingsbury coming in to replace Holly, try to protect her the last minute, 36 seconds this uh, first quarter. Windsor, the home team, leading 15 to seven. Minute 33 left in this first quarter. High screen. Looked like she had a wide open shot there. That was Tori DeFore that just could not get it because of extended hands. I think one of the things that Coach Porth was saying is any high screens you extend out and make sure you put some pressure on it so that you're not getting a clean three point shot. Two three zone from Frederick, kind of a two one two. Winds are doing a good job of flashing to the middle there, trying to find that open man. Right. That uh, looks uh, a 2-3 with uh, number 20 stepping back. Ooh, ooh. Nice flash into the middle. Hits a short jumper. That's Denzel, the senior, steps in and hits it. A 2-3 was sagging way back in the middle, and that gives a wide open center for anybody to come in and shoot. Tapped away. Bumped. I don't think she was too happy about that. That was Chavez. Chavez was going up for the shot, thought she might have got hit. Created a turnover, and then what happens when you get turnovers like that? You typically are causing a foul. You're going to have to pull her out. She has a couple fouls against her. 45 seconds left in this first quarter, 17 to 7. The Windsor Wizards at home are leading. Nice kick out, little short off the foot. You know, those are tough ones. You take a shot, Denzel looks like she has a nice motion towards the hole. The ball is flying, and you're trying to try to rebound it, but it falls short and goes off the foot. Porth pushing it around. Nice aggressive play. They're going to call it a jump ball. Mathern looked like she might have been able to draw a foul on it. Alternating possession goes to Windsor. Good pressure by Frederick on the inbounds. Tapped out of bounds by last moment there by Hamelstrand, the junior. See if they can do an out of bounds play again. Caught it deep inside. That's Mathern, the junior, averaging 5.3 points per game. Puts up her first. So I think there's her second bucket of the game. That's what happens when you go strong to the hole. That was um, Frederick's team. Is that number 13? Yep, I was going to say Tarnowski. That was a foul against Mathern. That was her second one. Nope, that was actually against 34. That was against Kramer, the senior. One thing I like about the Windsor team is it's a very balanced team with regards to scoring, distributing the ball, going all the way, coast to coast, could not turn it in. Denzel goes to the hole. As time expires, the end of the first quarter, it's 19 to eight. Windsor leading the visiting Frederick Warriors here at Windsor High School. We right back here on Stream It Sports Live. If this is how your bank sees the world, how do they see you? Be an individual at First Bank. Banking for good. Wayne, everyone knows by now that Trader's Country Stores have the best car washes around. They don't need to see you standing in the car wash explaining the undercarriage wash. 
the rocker panel spray, the protective finish application in the jet dryer. No, Wayne, all you have to do is see the beautiful shine on my nice clean car. No muss, no fuss, and I'm certainly not all wet. <laughs> you won't get soaked at Schrader Country Store car washes, just shiny clean. Toyota thons on. Look at all those Toyotas. Bet you could get a great deal in there. Yeah, we should go check it out. Impressive. Sometimes you just have to snap them out of it a little bit. Right now, get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2018 RAV4 with Toyota Care, our no cost service plan. Tis the season. Toyota Thon is on. Toyota, let's go places. We're back here about five seconds into this second quarter. Almost a turnover by Frederick, but a turnover again in the throw in. Down to the other end at Kingsbury, puts it in. 21 to 8. It has been a game of turnovers. Both teams putting high pressure. And a foul baseline. Tori DeFore, nice move with the shot fake, drives the baseline, but that also causes some problems there because I think that was Matherin that picked up the foul. Her first. Six team fouls, or six fouls against Windsor so far this game. Five against Frederick, the visiting Frederick. Nice shot by Tori DeFore. Her dad is in the house watching. Well, I, I think it's her uncle, excuse me. Her dad would be Aspen, yes. Remember, two DeFores out here on the court. Nice fast break, easy, quick shot. Porth gets an easy shot. Nice movement by the Windsor Wizards. That's the way to break a, a full court press is passing, not dribbling through it. Windsor back in their man to man. Torrey goes down the middle of the lane, can't finish it. Windsor on the attack again. Frederick slapping at the ball, seeing if they can do a full court press. And again, all the way down to the other end. Nobody able to stop him. Torrey behind the back. And then a wolf. Those are the infamous cries of wolf when somebody's coming from behind to tap it away. This is more of a full court one on one. Everybody's going up both sides. Another turnover. That was by Aspen before. Wolf again. Well, and you heard the crowd calling it. Yes. <laughs> Crowds yelling wolf. Lots of defense coming in from behind. Defense is a key at high school level. Well, it's at all levels of this game. Oh, boy. That was on the arm, but then it was a tie up, so it's alternating possessions. Goes to Windsor. Lucky Frederick didn't pick up a foul. Well, the leading scorer for Windsor, Holly's back on the court. She has two fouls. Goes straight back in, creates her own play. And then that is the third on Shea Chavez, I think. Are, they are calling that on Holly. They're calling that an offensive foul against Holly, which she just checked back in, went in, went straight to the hole, and they're calling it an offensive foul. We'll have to look at the replay on that. If she lowered her shoulder, I can understand that, but it looked like a, a hit on the arm. A little travel there. <laughs> Took a few steps before put the ball on the ground. Well, I tell you, this puts uh, Coach Porth in a difficult situation. Uh, his team's doing well. They're leading 23 to 10 with six minutes, 21 seconds left. But you don't have your best player out on the court that can score at will. One nice thing about the Windsor team, though, the Windsor team has a balance of scoring from other players, and they all step up and play well together. Mathern putting heavy pressure on. Teller, the senior, forcing almost a turnover, but taps it out of bounds. Deep throw down underneath. And then Windsor puts the pressure, move the ball as quick as possible. It'll be a trip. Uh, that was on Aspen to four. Not a foul that she wanted to pick up. Those are cheap ones. That's her third foul. So you have two good players from two good teams to, for their team uh, in foul trouble with three fouls each. 
Holly on Windsor as well as Aspen on Frederick. Quick hands by Porth put, couldn't put it back up there. Frederick putting it on on the pressure. Foul on Moran. This is really tight. One on one. Home team has seven fouls against them. Windsor does. Frederick has six fouls. Scores 23 to 10. Five minutes, 34 seconds left. That was the first foul on Moran, the senior. She's averaging 9.8 points per game. Solid contributor here. 1.3 rebounds per game. And if you're really wanting to know how many personal fouls she gets per game, 2.6, but she only has one. Nice rebound. Outlet by Denzel. Windsor putting the pressure on it. Was that a fumble? Yes. Tipped. Pulled back out by Moran. Nice movement by coming out for the shot. Looked for the three, couldn't get it. Frederick couldn't pull it back down. Could not put it in, Denzel. Those are some chippers that they're going to need to be able to put in. 23 to 10, five minutes left in this second quarter. Tori DeFore seeing if she could slice between two Windsor players. Does a Euro step. Ball gets tipped by Windsor out. Some substitutions. Windsor prides itself with regards to man-to-man -to -man defense. Moving the feet, making sure that you stay between man and ball. Back door, almost a nice Great steal. Hands. Good anticipation. I give it a hand to Hemmelstrand. She was able to get back on defense, and unfortunately, with the great, great steal, Mathern couldn't get it all the way through, but it was great defensive transition, too. Gets the ball back out. Alley kicks it out for a three. Right off of it. Great rebound by Denzel. She puts it in after Kingsbury couldn't hit the three. And then right back at it again. Moran gets the steal. Gets a nice 15-foot jumper. Puts the home Windsor Wizards up 27 to 10 with four minutes, 20 seconds left in this second quarter. Nice steal. Fronting Denzel. Able to make the steal. Kingsbury likes what she sees, nobody on it. And then who hustles down to the other end? The senior Denzel tapping the ball out of bounds. Timeout by Frederick with 406, 27 to 10. And it looks like it's a full timeout, so we'll take it with them. Here at Stream of Sports Live, we got Windsor Wizards leading 27 to 10 over the Frederick Warriors with 406 left in the second quarter. If this is how your bank sees the world, how do they see you? Be an individual at First Bank. Banking for good. 1994, yes, that was the last year that Windsor High School girls had won a state basketball championship. It's proudly displayed across us on this indoor court here from Windsor. And they do it all off of the pride of hard work. They almost got to another state championship last year. We were going to talk a little bit about that. They made it to the Final Four, but they lost to Pueblo South in the Final Four game. Pueblo South went on to lose to Evergreen in the championship, but they were that close to winning another state championship. And this season, they're seeing if they can come out and be that same competitive spirit that they had last year because they have a lot of returning players. Turnover again by Frederick. Kingsbury brings it up. Denzel going hard to the hole. Nothing called on it. Denzel looks over to the ref and wonders, uh, there was some contact if it was incidental. 
Denzel puts pressure on it. Alley gets a um, a freebie thrown back to her. Kingsbury goes straight to the hole. You know, one of those things is defensive transition. It's good to have good defensive transition, but if you have not enough players back to go in defensive transition, offensively you can dive through it. And Windsor is taking full advantage of that in their transition game. Go hard to the hole. Coach Porth is making sure that they're gaining all advantages that they can have. Yeah, really keeping the tempo up. Put just yeah, continuing to put that pressure on Frederick, make yep. them make tough decisions. Frederick's on a five-game winning streak. Uh, they were averaging 51 points per game against a defense of 43. That's a plus eight environment. Windsor currently has 29 points, so they're a little inverted on this game. But this last five games, they were actually averaging 58 points per game, plus seven from what they'd started off the season. They have not found their offensive presence out here. Another turnover by DeFore. Coach Brett Anderson's trying to wonder what he can do to get his team going, but they are turning the ball over well above what he wants to have in this game. Two minutes, 45 seconds left in this second quarter. Long pass by Windsor. Denzel looks, likes the short jumper. Could not put it in there. Kennis, the hustling junior, tries to see if she can bat it back in. Frederick Ball on the sideline. Tarnowski tossing it in. It's going to bring the ball up under the pressure. Good defensive footwork by Windsor. Moving those legs. Little Euro almost had it in there with a nice rolling. Again, where's the ball? Down the court before the rest of the Frederick team is down there and a nice jumper by Moran. Averaging 9.8 points per game. She was so fluid in that shot. Feeling very comfortable in transition. And then what do we call it? Another turnover. Just been hurting Frederick. Frederick. It's just tough. You don't even give your, your to yourselves a chance to go score. You're just handing it over. You need to get to the other end of the court and get some chances. Kingsbury hits a three. Makes it 34 to 10. Nearly perfect first half for Windsor Wizards as they play with Frederick. I'm going to have to give it to the great defense that they're playing. Foul on Kingsbury. She looks like she was trying to swipe up. Came across. Is still a one-on-one. -on -one. Nine team fouls against the Windsor Wizards. Seven against the visiting Frederick Warriors. So it's still a one-on-one -on -one since it's outside the three. Nobody was taking a shot. Tori to four coming up. She's a junior, stepping up to the line. Gets the first of two. Gets Frederick up to 11 points, well below their average. Frederick's been averaging between 11 to 12 points per quarter. And right now, with a minute 44 left in the first half, they only have 11 points. So you got to hand it to Windsor. Is playing stout defense and now gets the ball out. Great movement of the ball down court. Quick shot, good offensive rebounding. One on four down there. She gets another, another one. one. And is grabbed in her arm, then fouled. I think a travel, I think she took a step just a second before dribble hit the floor. Almost saw an arm grabbed in that whole thing. So I think Coach Porth has gone over there to talk to him and says, well, make sure you call the grab as well as the travel. Well, I tell you one thing that Aspen Torrey DeFore has. Aspen DeFore is setting solid on-ball screens. She's also flying backwards from every screen that she's making, so she's getting beat up a lot out there. You would think that a Windsor would look to each other and start calling out those on-ball screens, helping out those players coming through. Step into the line for a double bonus. Aspen to four, hits the first to two. DeFour averages 10.6 points per game. The other DeFour averages, Tori averages 10.8 points per game. 
They're the two leading scorers for Frederick. Nice rebound. Getting the ball down the court, Kingsbury the senior. Looking around, kicking it outside. Denzel steps up and in. Another nice rebound. You gotta hand it to her. Kramer has just been hustling her tail off out there on the court. The senior, number 34, just aggressive. Helping fill some voids where I think before Holly has been playing from an offensive perspective, hitting a lot of shots, not having to get the rebounds. Now with Holly on the bench for most of this first half, others have had to step up and Kramer has done a fantastic job over the last few minutes in just owning the boards and aggressively going, going towards the basket, trying to draw fouls and now she steps up to the line. Kramer hits the first of two. Kramer has 17 free throws attempted on season. She has 10 made. Well, make that 11, 12 for 19. So doing very well with regards to, to shooting. One of the things we haven't seen Kramer do a lot of, and that's three-point shooting because she shoots a lot from three-point range too. They're going to call a block. Oof. Kennis looked like she was there. Looked like her arm was stretched out by Hurtado. But at that point in time, the refs looked at it and felt like it was truly a block. That's going to put it as a double bonus. And Hurtado steps up to the line. She's the junior. She's averaging 2.4 points per game. Hurtado has only eight free throw attempts on the season. Two made, shooting about 25%. This is the first of two. Porth and Mathern back in. They give Kingsbury and uh, Kennis a break. 50 seconds left. Rodato hits the second of a double bonus. 48 seconds left, 36 to 13. Windsor Wizards are leading and almost threw the ball out of bounds. Almost a turnover again. Gustafsson, the junior, stepping in here. Gets the ball back. Oh, almost a creative play. Ball gets batted away on the pass. Give it to Kramer. Goes back and gets the ball. Goes down in the middle of the lane, but in the wraparound, she doesn't see the drive or the dive by his team or teammate. Didn't go all the way, so she tosses out of bounds for a turnover. 24 seconds left in this first half. Windsor Wizards leading Frederick Warriors. Torrey DeFore goes deep inside. Tries to play in the land of the trees. Is not able to get it. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds. You're absolutely right. Almost a turnover again. Denzel, she's going to take the three. Not in time. Did not see the clock at halftime. We got the Windsor Wizards, home team, leading the visiting Frederick Warriors, 36 to 13, here on Stream at Sports Live. We'll take a break. We'll get back to you with the second half. Excitement here on live stream at sports. Toyota thons on. Look at all those Toyotas. Bet you could get a great deal in there. Yeah, we should go check it out. Impressive. Sometimes you just have to snap them out of it a little bit. Right now, get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2018 RAV4 with Toyota Care, our no cost service plan. Tis the season. Toyota Thon is on. Toyota, let's go places. Great news. We broke our all time sales record, and it's all thanks to my nephew, Skyler. Bro, it's Sky. After my brother made me hire Sky, I switched us to First Bank to make up for him. Now business is better than ever. <laughs> No matter the reason, switching to First Bank can help your business grow. Wayne, everyone knows by now that Trader's Country Stores have the best car washes around. They don't need to see you standing in the car wash explaining the undercarriage wash, the rocker panel spray, the protective finish application, and the jet dryer. No, Wayne, all you have to do is see the beautiful shine on my nice clean car. No muss, no fuss, and I'm certainly not all wet. Ah! 
Oh, you no. won't get soaked at Schrader Country Store <laughs> car washes, just shiny clean. After playing the, the game for many years, and I decided I could either watch from the couch or get on the field and become part of the game. I became a judge because it was a natural transition from being a gymnast to coach, now judge. I love the large crowds, the excitement of the game, and you know what? I got the best seat in the house. Help these kids. Help this community. Become an official. There comes a time in every athlete's life when their participation in sports is coming to an end, and so officiating is a way to stay involved. The day I started officiating is just as fun as now. When I'm officiating, making decisions, a decision that's instantaneous, for me there's no greater feeling. I became an official because I wanted to give back. Get off the couch and get into the game. Become an official. Toyota thons on. Look at all those Toyotas. Bet you could get a great deal in there. Yeah, we should go check it out. Impressive. Sometimes you just have to snap them out of it a little bit. Right now, get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2018 RAV4 with Toyota Care, our no cost service plan. Tis the season. Toyota thon is on. Toyota, let's go places. Great news! We broke our all-time sales record, and it's all thanks to my nephew, Skyler. Bro, it's Sky. After my brother made me hire Sky, I switched us to First Bank to make up for him. Now business is better than ever. <laughs> no matter the reason, switching to First Bank can help your business grow. Wayne? Everyone knows by now that Schrader's Country Stores have the best car washes around. They don't need to see you standing in the car wash explaining the undercarriage wash, the rocker panel spray, the protective finish application, and the jet dryer. No, Wayne, all you have to do is see the beautiful shine on my nice, clean car. No muss, no fuss, and I'm certainly not all wet. <laughs> you won't get soaked at Schrader Country Store car washes, just shiny clean. There comes a time in every athlete's life when their participation in sports is coming to an end, and so officiating is a way to stay involved. The day I started officiating is just as fun as now. When I'm officiating, making decisions, a decision that's instantaneous, for me there's no greater feeling. I became an official because I wanted to give back. Get off the couch and get into the game. Become an official.
Well, just like you see it on the scoreboard, we're going to start the second half. It's uh, top of the quarter, third quarter. The home team, Windsor Wizards, are leading the visiting team, Frederick Warriors, just down south there between uh, Decano and Firestone. Just about a 38-mile drive up the I-25 up here to, Fort Col uh, to Windsor, excuse me, 36 to 13. Somebody back on the court that we have not seen much of from Windsor, which is Holly, Holly Hoffman. She's the key player for Windsor. She's been in foul trouble early. Nice pressure by Kennison. Kennis puts the pressure on, forces the turnover, and that was the name of the game for Frederick in the first half. And I'm sure Coach Anderson's not too happy to start the second half that way. Strong drive to the middle. Kennis puts it up. Thirty-eight, thirteen. Windsor's picked up exactly where they were in the first half. Tough defense, creating turnovers. Three-pointer short, not able to get those rebounds. Holly's got to watch herself, not pushing anybody, but she's back out there trying to get a sweat going. She sat for mostly three quarters of the first half with three fouls on her. Aspen to four goes up. I think Denzel was asking for, is there uh, an elbow in the face? Was there something that happened? <laughs> she dropped fairly quick, so yeah, I think she's. She is checking teeth, a tongue, trying to see if there's any blood coming through there. A 30 second, we're going to keep it here right with you. It's about a minute into this third quarter, 38 to 15. And I tell you, it's been a fun first half. And, you know, you can't see this live sports without really our sponsors. And we want to thank our sponsors, First Bank, Schrader Oil, and Peterson Toyota. If you'd like to be a partner with us and become a sponsor, send us a message at rmccoy. That's rmccoy at streamitsports.com. That's rmccoy at streamitsports. And we'll contact you with the information you need. Let our sponsors know how much you appreciate them helping us bring you live high school basketball action. You know, you can also tell your friends you can join on Facebook Live at Stream It Sports and Stream It Sports Narco, NOCO to also watch these games. Well, back to action here. 6.51 left here in the third quarter. Nice strong drive. Nobody can stop her. Morin goes through and gets an easy bucket for Windsor. And then comes right back and gets the turnover. Takes it straight to the hole and misses maybe a chippy that she should have gotten in. <coughs> Toy to four, trying to handle the pressure up front. Nice block by Kennis. Using a little of that volleyball leaping and jumping up. Long shot by Holly. She's been sitting too long. She wants to get some shots up to the bucket. Could not get it in. Frederick doing the exact same thing Windsor was doing. Get it down the court quick as possible. You got Ternowski getting an easy layup, and Portis is not like that defensive transition. It is 40 to 17. Still a comfortable 23. It's only a 30-second timeout. We're going to keep it here with you. Six minutes, but Porth actually given a little bit more heated instruction to his team to say you need to get back on transition. I appreciate the defensive pressure you're putting on Frederick, but you got to be able to communicate and get back in defensive transition. And that's all about when the ball goes up for the rebound. You know, Windsor's just sitting and watching as the ball goes up. Someone needs to get back. <laughs> Someone needs to give him a chance, not give him those easy layups down the floor. Oh, defensive transition is so key in a game of basketball. It shuts down a lot of those easy buckets like what you just saw Frederick get on that last sequence. Uh, Courtsporth hoping that now coming in, six minutes left in this third quarter. This team settles down and does the things that it's supposed to do. Nice play. Oh, halfway in. Out. Nice play by Moran. Aspen kicks it out to her cousin. Could not get it in. Clean block there. Holly's wondering, hey, I got three on me, and I've made more less contact than that. That looked a little bit like a contact going to the hole. 
Holly doesn't get the, uh, the benefit of it. That's Holly Hoffman, the junior, averaging 12.8 points per game, number 10. I think she only has about six right now in this game, but she sat a long time too. Kennis goes up. Nice close-in shot, but could not get the crib to go in. Strong play by Aspen. Oh, that's going to be a block. Ooh, holding the shoulder there. Slow to get up. That's Moran, the senior. Holding a shoulder, feeling like there was maybe a shoulder lowered, but I think that was truly a block. Nice defense by Kingsbury. Not allowing it to come in. Tipped ball, so it's not over and back. Pressure upside by Kennis. Kingsbury also saying, hey, you're not going to get around me. Nice hands by Kingsbury. Transition. What do you do? Transition. No foul called. Looking Great over to hustle. the refs. That may have been a clean block. Maybe I, even a jump ball. I don't know. I didn't see. Maybe I you saw it better. My eyes saw somebody from the backside grabbing on a shoulder. <laughs> the front side, I couldn't tell if it was on the arm or it got the ball, but uh, you do know players don't necessarily always lie on that. Missed shot by DeSantis. But the offensive rebound gets another shot up by Tarnowski. Tarnowski, the senior, averaging 8.9 points per game, just could not close that one down. Calling it on the ground. That was Moran. Foul on DeFore. That was Torrey DeFore that got that foul. Ken is playing good solid minutes there. Now being replaced by Kramer. Didn't feel comfortable with that shot, but nice rebound by Kingsbury. Puts it back out. Holly's going to take that three. Gets the rebound, kicks it back out. That's one way to keep things going. Ah, probably an ill-advised pass inside. It was double teamed. Nice shot by number 13, Tarnowski, on the transition. Kramer goes in with the left hand, can't put it off, but misses the shot. 40 to 19, three minutes, 55 seconds left in this third quarter. It's a 21-point lead. Porth crosses his arms, looks at his team, and says, you better step up defense this time down. Nice strip, strip by Kingsbury. And she brings the ball up. Dishes it off to Holly, who hits her first bucket of the second half. Gets her into rhythm. Yeah, Windsor hasn't been able to use their full court press. Just not as many buckets here in the second half to begin. Frederick gets a little more comfortable able to walk it up. Well, they got to also control time and space here. 42 to 19. Three minutes, 15 seconds. Great low post move. All right, I tell you, Aspen to four. Had two on her. Goes up, splits between number 23, Denzel, and number 21, Moran. Draws the foul. That foul will go against Moran, the senior, number 21. And Aspen steps up for the free throw. Shoots it off her right shoulder there. A little... Uh, a little different style of shot. Typically, you got one out in front of you with your tee. She comes off that right shoulder. And substitution. Looks like Moran steps out. And I think uh, Gustafsson has come in for her. Misses the second one, but the rebound. But blocks shot, but 23. Denzel, the senior, steps in again. She's played very solid inside. Kingsbury for three, and nothing but three. Great finish. I'm not sure what angle she used there, but goes in. 45-21, two minutes, 44 seconds left. Kingsbury, I just want to tell you, is 36% from three-point range, so you don't mind her shooting. Kramer, no problem with that long two. Nice shot. Again, fast break. Too much pressure there. Number 14, Hummelstrand, the junior. Could not handle some of the pressure. 
Of course, when you have Denzel breathing down your back. Nice hesitation dribbling around, but could not finish it. Uh-oh. Holly might have picked up. No, it's going to be Kramer. Oh, White won. So that would be against Kingsbury. Her second foul. Two minutes, nine seconds left in this third quarter, 47 to 21. Full court pressure again, man to man. Kingsbury almost got beat there. There we go. That's that will be on Aspen a personal foul. That could be her fourth. That will be her fourth personal foul. Coach Anderson's going to have to figure out what he can do to protect her going down into this fourth quarter. She is a solid player for Frederick, and she needs to be out there on the court this fourth quarter. So he's putting a lot of risk with a minute 51 seconds left in this third quarter to have her out on the court. Wow, DeSantis gets her hands on it. I thought Kingsbury was going straight to it, but Aspen DeFore having to just stay away from any fouls just to try to stay in this game. Three team fouls against Windsor, two versus Frederick. Deep in, could not finish it, Denzel. Kingsbury tries to outrun it and off the hands and another T.O. And that is not a timeout. That is called a turnover in the stat book. And not as many Frederick turnovers here in the second half, but definitely it hurts when you're trying to make such a substantial comeback with very with the time ticking. So I will tell you this. Frederick is six and two. There's a double dribble. You will not believe this, but the average turnovers per game for Frederick are 21.3. And that's so no. this is indicative of their game. But they're still six and two. So you kind of wonder how do you how do you win with 21 turnovers on your average at six and two? But must be really efficient scoring the ball. But I mean that's 20 chances that you're not giving yourself really an opportunity to score like potentially 40 plus points. Yeah, it's it's defense. And stopping it, and Kramer not having any problems finding her rhythm, hits it from three-point range. Nice shot by Kramer. 50 to 21 minute left here in the third quarter here at Windsor High School and 4A Tri-Valley Conference openers for both teams here. Deep inside, Aspen could not put it in. Being aggressive inside. Wants to stay away from getting into fouls, so she steps away from it. Holly skits the steal, goes all the way to the other end, puts it off the board. Hoffman, number 10, creates the turnover, 52 to 21. 30 seconds left in this long distance shot by Tori. Her, her daughter could not get her hand on it as she was jumping out of bounds and trying to save it back to her team. 23 seconds, Windsor gets it down the court. Kramer hit a three just earlier. Kingsbury's going for her three. Off the side, but nice rebound by Mathern. A little long of a shot. I think she needed to move out to three-point range. She put ahead of three. Five seconds left. If it goes. Tori gets it Bank up. shot. Bank is open, that's three. At the end of the third quarter. The home Wizard Wizards leading the visiting Fred Frederick Warriors 52 to 24 here in 4A Tri Valley competition here at Stream of Sports Live. Come back for this fourth quarter. This is how your bank sees the world. How do they see you? Be an individual at First Bank. Banking for good. Well, welcome back. We are in the fourth quarter now. Just going to start it up here. Uh, Windsor leading 52 to 24 over the visiting Frederick Warriors. Brett Anderson in his second season has his team doing really well over at Frederick, six and two. This is a first conference game for both of them. 
If you take a look at it right now, last night, conference games, Berthard beat Erie. Berthard's a perfect 10 and 0 on the season. 1 and 0 in conference, Erie 3 and 5. 0 and 1 after last night's loss. And then tonight's game is this game. Nice outside shot, but a lot of pressure on it. Middle eyes, and guess what? Kramer creates the turnover. Holly had to fumble it. She goes inside, drives deep. Quick shot. Nice shot by Mathern. The only other, only other game tonight is Skyline at Holy Family. Skyline three and three with a three-game losing streak, playing against Holy Family at home seven and two with only a one-game losing streak. More games also tomorrow in girls for a Tri Valley. Nice play by Chavez. She's able to get in, get the ball, and also create some space. Speaking of space, Moran is creating her space all the time by driving down the middle of the lane and just putting it up off the board. She's played a great game so far. 56-26, 30-point lead for Windsor High School. If Windsor does reach 35 points, the new rule this year, as we saw in football, the mercy rule where the clock does not stop. Three-point shot. And Frederick's not going to let it happen. They just keep, keep chugging along. you got to give a shout-out to Shea Chavez, number 20, the junior, hitting some good balls. Well, back-to-back -back threes. Kramer says, hey, I can do that just like you can, Chavez. Coming a shooting clinic now. You have to turn on your video here. Well, you don't have to turn on your video because you have Stream It Sports, which means you can go and review it at any time live for free. Inside, Coach Anderson calls a full timeout. We'll go with them out. It's 59 to 31. Six minutes, 19 seconds left in this fourth quarter in this game. Come back here at Stream It Sports Live. Wayne, everyone knows by now that Schrader's Country Stores have the best car washes around. They don't need to see you standing in the car wash explaining the undercarriage wash, the rocker panel spray, the protective finish application, and the jet dryer. No, Wayne, all you have to do is see the beautiful shine on my nice, clean car. No muss, no fuss. I'm certainly not all wet. <laughs> you won't get soaked at Schrader Country Store car washes, just shiny clean. Toyota thons on. Look at all those Toyotas. Bet you could get a great deal in there. Yeah, we should go check it out. Impressive. Sometimes you just have to snap them out of it a little bit. Right now, get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2018 RAV4 with Toyota Care, our no cost service plan. Tis the season. Toyota thon is on. Toyota, let's go places. We're back here, fourth quarter, Windsor High School, live on Stream of Sports Live, 59 to 31. Six minutes, 19 seconds left in this first conference game between Windsor and Frederick. 38 miles separate these two teams, but both of them want to compete. Nice screen on ball coming up through the middle, but give a chance to Moran to try to go in and try to get it. Could not, but it was great play by Hemmelstrand. But then the turnover happens again. We talked about it before. Hoffman goes up for the easy bucket. That 21.3 rebound uh, turnovers per game has to be combined with great defensive pressure and great shooting. And none of those are here right now for Frederick. So they're way behind by 30, 61 to 31. Quick hands by Mathern, able to steal it away. Little foot, feet. First time seeing that. Porth going up there. We do have an injury on the court. Could have been an ankle based off of where that was at. People trying to keep their footing. Five minutes, 26 seconds left. A 30 point lead for Windsor High School over the visiting Frederick Warriors. You know, take a look at it. The last five games from Windsor, they were averaging 54 points per game for the season. And that's slightly up if you try to take out the last five games because the last five games, they've been averaging 60 points per game. So if you looked at it, they were roughly around 51 points per game. And they're going nine points per game more 
over the last five games. So they have definitely turned Found something. On, well, I think it's the aggressiveness. Coach Porthis says, hey, you need to get to the bucket and to the hole. And we saw that earlier on when we watched a game against Pueblo West, which was a major matchup right before the uh, the break. They lost it uh, in, that, in that game, but came back the very next day to play Pueblo South and was able to beat Pueblo South before going on this break. This is the first game for both of them coming out of the break from Christmas and New Year. Almost a steal there, Holly, quick hands. She's been staying out of the foul situation ever since she's been sitting. Almost another steal. Aspen couldn't get it in. Foul on number 22. That's Herdado. Both of them were going after it. Oh, they're not calling it a foul. It was just a out of bounds. Cross screen, Aspen to four. Nice jumper, could not get it in. Holly Hoffman gets it down the court. Kramer cannot finish it. Great body control. Wow, for a long lead pass like that and be able to pull it back. Shea Chavez comes up for Frederick, gets them set up. Torrey DeFour, the cousin to Aspen DeFour, who we've been talking about, number five, Frederick. Both playing. Probably not having the best games that they've had so far this season. Holly almost getting a strip there. Good defensive footwork. Hand on ball, Kramer. No problem, and Kingsbury comes away with it. No question on the speed and getting up the court. Like that aggressiveness. Nobody was on her. And so what does Moran do? Say, hey, I'll take a quick little pump fake and then drive down the middle of the lane. And Anderson, you could hear in the background saying, hey, defense, somebody guard her. She's been having a great game. Take a look at him. Michaela Moran, number 21. She had 17 points versus Pueblo South that last game. She was only outscored by Holly Hoffman with 26 points, but she was three for nine from three-point range, three for five from the two-point range. Michaela Moran's high is 18 versus Fort Morgan, an early season win. I would like to see how many points she has tonight because she has played very well going aggressive to the hole. First shot up by Shea Chavez, number 20. Chavez, 17 free throws attempts before coming into this game. Uh, nine makes, so she's 53% from the free throw line. Makes the first one. And the second one. Who says percentages guide your shots? Two for two is 100% anytime you set up up to the line, even though your history might say 53. Kenneth pushing the ball around. Oh, a sub in here, number 50. That's Kramer. That's not the other Kramer we were talking about. This is Peyton Kramer, number 50. She normally plays on the JV team, and she's out there. She's a sophomore. She's played in six of the varsity games. So she's gotten some minutes, and she goes straight to the hole. Does she get it? Passes over to Kennis. Kennis could not put it in too hard off the board. Pulls it back out. And I don't think, I don't think Moran has found a shot she hasn't liked tonight because she hits a three there, makes it at 66 to 53. Three minutes, 18 seconds left in this game. Good rebound by Moran. Kingsbury able to screen off her person, then go straight down to the hole. And that's a tough one. I think that's a foul against number 13. Tarnowski, just pure aggressiveness by Kingsbury going down the middle of the lane. Kingsbury hits the first one. If you think about it, this second half, the issue of spread has not been the issue of fouls. It's been by turnovers. There's only 14 fouls by Windsor and three team fouls by Frederick, and we're three minutes left in this fourth quarter. So it's been a very clean game from a foul perspective. Not a clean game from a ball handling. Yeah, the turnovers have been, they've come in rushes too for Frederick. Yep. Boy, if Frederick wants to go far this year, they're going to need to solve their turnover problem. And 
that's really discipline with regards to handling the ball and what they want to go after. Now, I will have to say, Windsor's had their problems with turnovers as well, too. They're averaging 19 turnovers per game, but tonight, I think they're averaging very well. Well, Alec Guinness brings it up, kicks it back out, and Peyton stepping in. Peyton Kramer cannot hit it. Nice toss back in, almost saved back in. Good quick hands. Uh-oh, Moran has the ball. You know what she wants to do, take the shot. Uh, that would be a turnover. There's a back cut. DeSantis gets the easy bucket. 67-35, two minutes, 15 seconds left in this game. Coach Porth bringing in some younger players. Once playing JV a little bit more, giving them a chance to get some experience. Always good to mix those two together, some experience as well as inexperience. Kennis almost gets the um, the steal, but gets it tapped out of bounds. These are the types of games when you have this type of lead that you can get some maturity of some of your other players to get some good solid minutes and protect the rest of your players from injury. You never know when you're going to need it down the stretch. Yep. Now Moran's having a great seat, great game. It's probably going to allow her to stay in there and see if she can have a spectacular game with regards to her final points. Kenneth rebounds. Frederick trying to get back. I think Frederick has also been playing deeper in their bench. Gustafsson tried for a three, could not make it. Rebound by Frederick. Moran working her tail off. Almost another turnover by Frederick, but hustle there by Tarnowski. DeSantis kicks it back over, and then unfortunate for Tarnowski, the three-pointer goes off out the back of the rim. Well, now we're getting into some lineups that are not even on the uh, on the register with regards to points or games played. Got number 30, Karen Leto, the sophomore guard, stepping in. Peyton Kramer going strong to the hole. You also got Kylie Sanger out there from JV. And Valerie Apodaca. Now, Apodaca seems like a very familiar name. That would be correct. Apodaca and Connor Apodaca from the football team. There's a relationship there. Nice shot by Kylie Sanger. Nice bucket here. 27 seconds left, 71-35 in this game. This game has not been close even since the first quarter. Windsor playing just stifling defense, causing problems for Frederick early on, creating turnovers well above their average. Clock keeps running right now. Nothing stops with a 35-point plus. Mercy roll running. Seven seconds left. Another turnover almost. Foul with one second left, and the game would be over. They'll call it a game and not give him the bucket. Well, we'll take a look at it. At the end of this game, Windsor Wizards at home with a commanding victory over the Frederick Warriors, 71-35 to here on their home court. Picking up from last year when they had beat them 72 to 32 on their home court increases their games victories between these two games to 21 to nothing. And so Windsor has owned this game and it's all based off of speed, tenacity, hard work, and some solid play. Even when Holly Hoffman had been sitting for most of that first half. Well, this is Stream at Sports Live. We thank you for coming and watching us live on H HD, high definition. This game will also be available for on demand in the next day for you to be able to watch with your family and with other friends and join us again in the future as we pull another Windsor High School girls or boys game to you here on Stream of Sports Live. I want to thank my producer here, Cody McCoy. He's done a fantastic job. And also on the camera, is Abby Balk, who's done a fantastic job for you.
And I'm Eric Freelf. We want to thank you for a great broadcast. We'll see you the next time on Stream It Sports Live. It's Windsor High School Basketball on Stream It Sports Northern Colorado has been brought to you by Schrader Oil, Fuel Your Day, by Peterson Toyota in Fort Collins, Everything Cars Made Easy, and by First Bank. Visit any of our convenient locations in Northern Colorado. First Bank, banking for good. This has been a Stream It Sports NOCO production of Windsor High School Basketball. You can find all of our broadcasts, past and present, by visiting streamitsports.com slash PSD. Thank you for watching.